Ragnar's daughter was an enclave-affiliated member of the United States Armed Forces before the Great War. When the bombs dropped, the Major survived inside the White Spring bunker alongside then-Secretary of Agriculture Thomas Eckhart, Agent Gray, and a group of generals and other loyal soldiers that had already been stationed in the bunker. Ragnar's daughter survived Thomas Eckhart's purges of the bunker staff and went on to serve as the Secretary's Chief of Recon Operations and Recruitment. The responders became a natural source of recruits, though many would require brainwashing in order to be pressed into the Enclave's ranks. Ragnar's daughter's scouts discovered that West Tech's FEV research survived the nuclear blasts and also located the Chinese covert facility at Mama Dolce's food processing near Morgantown. Ragnar's daughter also oversaw the efforts to hack the election system in order to allow Eckhart to become president. Minimizing casualties due to work accidents like when Sergeant Donnelly nearly broke his neck while mounting communications dishes in Charlestown were at the top of their list of concerns. The Major was also very liberal with ammunition assignments to the point that Eckhart had to remind him that the bunker's automated assembly units could not keep up with the ammunition expenditure when 500 plasma cartridges were requisitioned only three weeks after filing a previous requisition order. Ragnar's daughter was also quick to act when it came to missing research teams or soldiers. Over time, Ragnar's daughter began to have doubts about Eckhart's plans. As one of the officers in charge of gaining access to Appalachia's nuclear missile silos, they realized the connection between the automated DEFCON monitors and the situation in the region. Gray's argument for false flag attacks, but the prospect of putting Appalachia through hell just so they could finally win this war, did not appeal to them. When Eckhart started trying to trigger DEFCON 1 so he could launch nukes at China, Ragnar's daughter informed General Santiago of the lengths Eckhart was going to, which included unleashing scorch beasts, liberators, and super mutants on Appalachia. When confronted with this knowledge, Eckhart drugged Santiago and kept her in an artificially induced coma until he had need of her clearance. Ragnar's daughter discovered this and began gathering loyal soldiers to take down Eckhart. In 2086, they made their move, successfully reviving Santiago from her coma and arresting Eckhart. The uprising set explosive charges on parts of Modus in an attempt to disable the AI which was loyal to Eckhart. This failed, and in retaliation, Modus destroyed the weapons lab and ruptured a toxin tank that leaked into the air circulation system, suffocating all human inhabitants.